f of x and y. equals to, let's call it g square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. Find the level curves when k is equal to 0. Your z values are fixed when k is equal to 1, 2, and 3. And I have a question for you. What is the general formula for the level curves of this function? Question. What is the general formula for the level curves? What do I mean by that? It means that suppose k doesn't have these numbers. But if k is just a fixed number like k, how do we find the formula for the level curves? Perfect. So what do we have here? We have different values for our k, and we have our function. Remember the steps. Step one, we set the definition of function equals to k. So we have g of x and y equals to k. What is our first k? Our first k is equal to zero. So when k is equal to zero, it means that square root of nine minus x squared minus y squared must be zero. But we have to simplify this. We can raise both sides to the second power and we get nine minus x squared minus y squared equal to zero or x squared plus y squared equals to nine. What is this guy? This is just a circle. Circle with center at zero and radius three. Okay, perfect. Easy to graph. X axis, y axis. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. So this is my first circle as the first level curve. Well, what if k is equal to one? Let's see what is the next one. K is equal to one. So this is our step two, graphing that. K is equal to one. It means that I need to set the definition of function equals to my k. So I have square root of nine minus x squared minus y squared. My z is equal to one right now. So it means that if I raise both sides to the second power, I get nine minus x squared minus y squared equals to one. Okay, let us do a little bit of algebra. Let's rearrange this. We get x squared plus y squared equals to nine minus one, which is eight. Well, my radius is shrinking. It means that here I have square root of eight. Two plus something. This is the second circle. It's getting smaller and smaller. We can plug in more values for k, and we actually see that if we set this by equals to three, if k is equal to three, the square root of nine minus x squared minus y squared is equal to three, or nine minus x squared minus y squared is equal to nine, or x squared plus y squared is equal to zero for the origin. So this is just, let's get rid of this scaling. So I'm gonna show you how you can shrink these. And this is the last inner circle, and then the origin. So these are the level curves. When k is equal to 0, k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, and k is equal to 3. These are level curves. Very well. 
what is the general formula? What if I don't have these numbers here? How do I represent the formula for the level curves? So in this case, I set the function g of x and y equals to k. k is just a fixed number. I don't know what it is. I only know it is just a number. So square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared is equal to k or 9 minus x squared minus y squared equals to k squared or x squared plus y squared must be equals to 9 minus 9 minus k squared. Remember that this guy is equal to r squared, radius squared. So r is equal to square root of 9 minus k squared. 9 minus k squared must be greater than equal to 0. Otherwise, you cannot solve this. So you need to have this condition when you write the general formula for your level curves. So this is our surface in the space, square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. As you can see, it's the upper hemisphere because it doesn't have plus minus sign. It only is square root of the sign before square root is plus. So that's why you only have the upper hemisphere, okay? the upper hemisphere. Now let us take a look at slicing. So if you think about it, if you slice this hemisphere with some planes that are parallel to, they're just parallel to x, y plane, level curves are just circles, concentric circles. Let us take a look at our Wolfram. So here we have square root of 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And k is equal to 0. We can plug in values for our k. Let's plug in one as well. As you can see, you have concentric circles. You're slicing this graph and then you get these level curves. So if you visualize this, let me erase this part. If you visualize the surface here, this is your surface in x, y, plane. x, y, and z in the space. So here you have your surface. Just make more space for this. So this is our surface. Upper hemisphere. Okay. So what are we doing? We are slicing this guy using some planes. What planes? Z equal to, for example, three. And Z is equal to three. You have suppose you have this surface. Let's use z equals to 3, just going to be a little bit further up, much up. So this is going to be your z equals to 3. That's why you get your origin here. Then if z is equal to 2, you get another point. This is your next line. And the level curve that you get is going to be in x y plane, this level curve 
is just the symbol. If z is equal to one, you get another plane. This is what you learned in elementary calculus. These are equations of planes. And then the intersection between this plane and the surface is going to be another circle. And then the projection x y plane are those circles. An x, y, so this is your x and this is your y, and these are your circles. Concentric circles. 